Our Nile cruise ship has finished the journey down from Luxor and we've arrived into Aswan. And while Aswan itself has many uh, amazing things to see, today we took a expedition out to Abu Simbel, the great temple of Ramses II or Ramses the Great. Uh, so this is what, about a, a three and a half hour drive uh, from Aswan to get to this temple? Yes, by car, three and a half hour almost, more or less. But there's not one temple only in the Abu Simbel. We have two temples, very important two temples. One for, so God, uh, for King Ramses II and his wife, Queen Nefertari. So two temples. We shouldn't igno ignore the temple yeah. of Queen Nefertari. It's a very good <laughs> yes, temple. Yes, yes. Unlike Ramses, yeah. who put more, more of his statues on her temple than he had of her. <laughs> yeah, the temple. So actually, he was respecting his wife. At the same time, he was in love with himself. <laughs> Yes. yes, so he depicted himself more than his wife in her temple. He made temple statues for himself more than his wife. Four times for him, two times for her. <laughs> so it was uh, so weird, actually. But in a way, thanks God he built a temple for her. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But in a way, the, uh, the temple of, uh, I mean, the two temples of Abu Simbel actually it's a, the big and the small one. So they are very nice temples and uh, very well preserved temples. Uh, and everything very unique about these temples. So unique about the architect, unique about the art itself, the sculptures, about the history behind, actually the moving or, or the uh, removing the temple actually from place to another place, because the whole, the whole, the two temples actually and so many other temples was covered by water because of the Lake Nasser. So uh, they moved it, UNESCO moved these temples from underneath from the water till the top hill of the mountain uh, very close from the original location because egypt built the high dam right and then that that water yeah, that's started. why because this is the stock water i mean the, 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 this lake Nasser because of the high dam mm -hmm. so all those safe water actually we uh, we have it so covered all the nubian houses and nubian villages plus the temples which located supposed to be located in the way from Aswan to Abu Simbel area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, you know that this temple uh, started to move, uh, started, uh, they started this big project of moving this stone, this temple from the original location to another place. So they uh, started in 1964 till 1968. So just four years to yeah. move this big mountain right and it's not a just a temple right it's it built a into mountain. the mountain yeah it's yes, crazy it's on <laughs> this is the biggest and largest temple carved in the mountain actually so uh yeah king rams II he built also he makes four series statues massive statues for himself and uh, uh little statues for his wives and daughters the inner hall we have the for the, the pillared hall and the wall depicted with the battle of uh Kaddish against the Hittites. Uh, it's, uh, he represents his, his power inside this place and he represents his, the support of gods while they are helping him with their arms and hands and their uh, yeah, big support inside this uh, temple according to the scenes of the battle. This battle was very important because he depicted it on a bunch of different no, spots. No, this battle Egypt. actually very, very important because King Ramses II was important. <laughs> yeah. Because if Ramses II was important, this battle will be not important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very important because the uh, King Ramses II. We have a ba so many battles uh, against the, 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 the Hittites from the period of King Sid the First and the other kings before. So we fight the Hittites all the time. Why the Hittites battles during the time of King Ramses II very very important and very famous because of the peace treaty between Egypt and Hittites. It was the, the, the oldest and the first peace treaty ever in ancient times, not in ancient Egypt, mm -hmm. in the ancient world, actually. So, uh, yeah, the, this Battle of Kaddish depicted in, uh, uh, in Ramses the second temple in Abydos and Ramses the first temple in Abydos, uh, Karnak temple, Luxor temple, uh, in the west bank of Luxor, Ramesium temple, and then in Abu Simple. So, uh, yeah, it depicted so many places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every place or any place belongs directly to King Ramses II 
he mentioned this battle and he always say I win the battle but he wasn't yeah actually uh, because we have uh, evidence in other side belongs to the king of Hittites he said that I win the battle as well so they both claim that they yes, won they both claim actually that's why they make the peace treaty okay so uh, yeah but it was it is a very good thing to to see the battle of Kadesh the action like you are watching at you know action movie the king fighting and beating the enemies the king over the chariots mm -hmm. yeah no, the scenes are just incredible as you walk around the temple. But this was also very much, like so, so much of the, the temples in, in Egypt, uh, a propaganda piece for Ramses II. And he had these massive statues out front. And then he really elevated himself to the, the highest heights of the gods uh, with, with his comparisons throughout the temple. Yeah, actually the, um, the Holy of Holies, this temple at the beginning. So the, this temple not dedicated to triad man and wife and son most of the temples the were, were uh, the dedicated most, uh, to a, tri the most a trio had the triad yeah. actually but this temple not this temple includes statue for god Raharakhti, king ramses ii god amurra and god uh, bitah god bitah he worshipped as a god of art and artisans and god of darkness as well so uh king ramses ii he chose why he chose those certain gods specifically because those gods actually they are the creator gods according to the earth creation legend so each one has earth creation legend in mm -hmm. his state so for example Raharakht in Heliopolis the creator god according to Heliopolis legend of earth creation also the god the Amur Ra about Thebes and uh, god Betah in Memphis so King Grams is second one of them so he, 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 he mentioned himself as, as a god in so many places but here he put himself in the same level of the creator gods. Was he the first pharaoh to do that? To put himself at that, that level? That, that level, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. But the ancient Egyptian gods, uh, kings in general, they worship, they, they consider themselves as the gods, yes. Mm -hmm. But that level, King Rams II, yes. So, uh, and the very interesting thing that when this, uh, we have the sun, dry, the, the sun united with the faces of the gods in, uh, inside the Holy of Holies, the sun rises every, uh, I mean, every year twice, okay? Twice every year, actually, uh, once, the first one in 22 of October, and the second one in 22 of November. So the sun rises, and going crossing from the uh, gateway until united with the first figure of the first god statue, on his face, God Raharakhti, and then King Rams II, and then Amur Ra, but never rises over the face of God Bita. Because he's the God of darkness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. That why. So that's happening. That's the coronation day and per day. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so, so much to see between both of the temples there and the fact that it's kind of on the, the, the shore, the shore of the lake as well. So the, the setting of it is very unique and yeah, it yeah. just feels it's very nice. Very there. unique. Yes. But, uh, if we work like just three, four minutes from the big temple, we will arrive to the other temple, which is dedicated to his beloved wife. And he married her with goddess Hathor. And he depicted on the facade, depicted, and he made four standing studies for himself and two, series, two standing studies for his wife. But he wrote a very nice text on the facade of the, of the, of the temple, actually. He said, because of your face, the sun rises. I mean, oh, the sun rises because of your face. Every Beautiful. Day. Yeah, yeah. So uh, actually, this uh, temple inside, very beautiful, very colorful. There are scenes representing Queen Nefertari crowned by the two horns and sandals crowned to be in the same level of gods. We have a very unique scene, uh, scene of coron uh, coronation for King Rams II. He crowned by God Set, the evil god, and God Horus. Okay, so uh, Horus and Set all of them challenge and fighting each other, and Horus he killed Set because Set killed his father. So it's so weird to find both of them. They are sharing one ceremony of coronation. This is the symbol of power of King Ramses II because Ramses he want to say that I am the uh, the one who's supported by all gods, evil and good gods. Yeah, yeah. That's a very yeah. 
very interesting, you know, because drum second is very smart. Yeah. The, the drive out there is also unique. So like we said, it takes about three and a half hours. We got caught in kind of a, a bit of a lot of wind, kind of a sandstorm that came through. At one point, you could barely see anything out of the car yeah, at all. There was like zero, like, yeah. zero visibility. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sandstorm, actually, it's happened maybe every year once or two times, but not that much. But sometimes it became very, very strong sandstorm. Actually. So you cannot see even one meter in front of you. <laughs> yes. Like in Europe and the, 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 the cold countries actually found snow on mm -hmm. the streets. Yeah, cloudy sometimes, but here sand and hot, very yes. hot, yeah, very hot. So this is very important, yeah. Very, very hot, but you absolutely have to do the journey out to Abu Simbel uh, when you're in Aswan. So you can drive out, There's a, there is an airport there so you can fly, but would you recommend you, driving? No, you can fly, yeah, but if you, are, uh, you don't like to drive, uh, long way actually so many hours driving okay you can take the plane but also you will go and you have a car to go to the airport and then you have to wait for the plane then go and then go out from the airport and then you will take a car right. to go to the temple and then return back to the <laughs> temple i mean it's not it's not, yeah it's normal if you like this or this so many options. Yeah. But by the time you hassle with everything other, with the airport. Other, uh, yeah. And we have another way to do this, or to, to visit Abu Simbel, night cruise. Oh yeah. Also behind the dam. You just have to, the so three, you can't. The three nights or three or four nights to do this, uh, not only Abu Simbel, you do the tours from beginning of Aswan, I mean from Kalapsha, Subu Adar, Amada, all those temples until you arrive to uh, Abu Simbel. So these are on the other side of the dam. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. so you, you can go from like Luxor to Aswan and then on a different ship. Yeah, different ship. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. So, so, so some fun options to look into there if you're interested in visiting Abu Simbel. Highly recommend it. Uh, Ramses II left behind so many incredible like creations and so many records. Uh, as you said, he was in love with himself, so <laughs> we, we have a lot from him, and yes. it's amazing to visit. <laughs> yes, Ramses II, the most famous king. Perfect, thank you. More famous than me. <laughs>